weeks ago, I put out a video and I was hoping to get some feedback on, you know, just any kind of product that you guys might like to see open. I kind of just put out an open pitch to see if it would stick with anything. And it didn't, which I kind of expected would happen. So uh, I, in putting that out, also had a thought in my head as a contingency plan for what I wanted to buy. So uh, I went on Amazon and I found that they were still selling these Phantom Forces triple pack blisters for pretty much the same price as they retailed back in the day when they came out. I think one was $12, the other was $13. Dark Rider was a little bit more because I assume the promo's probably slightly more expensive. But uh, I wanted to open this for a few reasons. Number one, um, I'm going to actually do this while I'm opening it. So first off, here's the shift tree one. We'll do that first and we'll set the Dark Rider off to the side. There were a few reasons. Number one... When I was a kid, I collected Pokemon cards a lot, and I just, as I got older, I kind of stopped giving in to my, like, I don't know, like, my interest in the things that I enjoyed, because, you know, growing up, people were like, oh, you know, you shouldn't enjoy that anymore, like, we're all about sports or whatever, I don't know. As people changed, I kind of felt like I had to change with them, so I stopped collecting, I kind of stopped playing video games and a lot of stuff as a whole, um, so, you know, coming around to 2014, I'm working at a borough, and, uh, you know, I sat down, oh, first off, Shift Tree, holographic. I really love the old Shatter Hollow. It's also very, very warped because it's probably been in a warehouse for God knows how long. Also, check out these coins. I forgot how cool these were. Like, I, normally I hate Pikachu coins, but like, you did a good job with this one. You done good. It looks fully holographic like the normal ones, and you get the orange and black mixed together. Very freaking cute. Anyway, you know, I actually, actually why don't I just open both of them? But, you know, I, I felt kind of, like, excluded from it. And then uh, 2014, I, you know, I, I kind of finally realized, you know, like, I had already been back into games and stuff, but I, I kind of thought about Pokemon once more. And I was like, you know what? I have all those cards from when I was a kid. I was like, why did I never learn to play the game? And I, I, I pulled up the rule book and I learned the XY format of how to play at my freaking burrow job where I just, you know, cut grass and then otherwise just sat in a building listening to Rush Limbaugh because that, that's what everybody did there, you know. Dark Rye. Oh, it kind of reminds me of the Malamar that we have one of these new sets with the swirly pattern going around the back of it. Very, very cool. So there's the two promos. I'll pop the other coin out. You know, I learned how to play it again, and I started collecting. And when I did that, I believe this and, like, a little bit of Furious Fist was, like, the first sets out. So this was one of the first sets that I started opening again when I started collecting back, I guess, in, what, I think these were made in 2014. Yeah, 2014 Pokemon Company. You can see it down at the bottom there. That is, there it is, you know, sorry. That is crazy. So I've now been collecting again for a good, I guess, five, six years, and I didn't even realize it. Time is, uh, time has really changed, and I've gone through college, and, you know, here I am now, all grown up, I guess, sort of, more grown up. I'm still opening this, so not completely. But uh, regardless, I, the, I always bought this set, and I always enjoyed it, because, well, hey, Gengar is awesome, but I always wanted the Dialga, um, I guess... Secret rare? Yeah, it's got the it's a full silver card. I'll put it up on the screen now. Checked it out. It's still going for 50 bucks online, and I'm surprised these packs aren't worth more because of that. But I'm kind of sick of all the Charizard stuff going around, so I figured uh why not go back to this? Just take some nice throwback packs, the old original XY that open like butter. That's so smooth. Code cards that the back of them does not matter, and uh we'll just see what we can get out of it. Just a little nostalgia trip. So the cards that are worth a lot is that, obviously, that Silver Dialga, which is what we're trying to go for. But there's also a Secret Rare Gengar, which, like, back in the day, I didn't realize how silly the Secret Rares were. Like, it was just a slight gold border. You could barely tell. Florge is EX out of the first pack. Yep, I've probably gotten about two or three of this card. But, uh, yeah, not good. But it's still cool to see an EX on the first freaking rip. Awesome. I am just going to stack them all up there. That actually looks great. And put the bulk there and the codes here. But, uh, yeah, you know, I, I remember I pulled the Lucario, I think, out of Furious Fist, and also had just, like, a slight gold border as opposed to silver, and that dictates the secret rare, but, like, yeah, the Gengar is, like, $20 still, and I was kind of baffled by that, considering how old this format is. I guess it's got to be just collector's sake at this point. We're completing the Master Set. Carablast, Chansey, Mana, Bronzor, Leopard, Golbat, Wobbuffet, Swadaloon, and Olivani, which is really ironic. We love that. Mm, I'll throw that in the reverse stack, to be honest. It doesn't deserve being on top of Florges. It's our only hit so far. Yeah, Mega Manetrix in this set. And even so, I was like, wow, like nowadays, like there's so many different EX or GX cards, or I guess now going to be V cards in a set. Like there's only maybe like four or five different EXs in this set. There's like Malamar, Florges, Manetric, Dialga, and that's really about it. Like 
These sets were not super insane yet. I, I didn't realize how much things have inflated since I started collecting. And okay, <laughs> can we stop? It's really interesting, but please stop it. These are not good hits. So first one, I kind of shuffled them around, but basically from one, one EX out of three packs, that's not bad. Let's do the old, the 302 is so much easier than doing four. I know people throw out the energy, but I hate doing that because I feel like I'm disrespecting it, even though it's only an energy. It's just too much. This was simple. This is easy. It feels right. It feels quick. Honestly, the hit, oh God, and all these old trainer cards, Gigalith Reverse. They're all uh, bringing me back because this is where I started learning competitive and I started playing online with all the codes. I don't even know why I'm going to enter the codes online, to be honest. They, they're kind of meaningless, but man, like back in the day, like this format was like the most fun. And then when it switched, you know, I kind of like lost it again. But, you know, I, like I said, I went to a pre-release tournament. In the next video, I will feature the stuff that I got from that. But, uh, you know, getting back into competitive and seeing that the scene really isn't all that different is kind of interesting. Sycamore. Oh, man. Miss it. So simple. That would have been worth a lot back in the day. Another Levani. There's so many of it. All right. Wow. We're actually already down to the last one. Oh, Aegislash. Also, uh, EX in a set. And I think a hollow. Pretty sure there's two variants of them. But I could be wrong. All right. Three under two. Last time we're going to do this this video. Uh, this is this is nice. I honestly need to buy more of these as long as they don't go out of stock on the internet. Because <laughs> I think they had like four or five of these left. And they're all still for a pretty fairly reasonable price. And a Galvantula, which I thought was shiny for a second, but it's not. So, honestly, kind of a bummer. We got the two hollows and we got the EX, but uh, I, I guess that's really about it. Anyway, I'll uh, I'll go through the rares and whatnot. Maybe I'll look through some of the trainers and pull some nostalgia stuff in for the end card, but enjoy yourself, guys, and uh, I hope to do this again soon. Honestly, comment on here again if you really do want something. Go for it. If not, I'm probably going to do more of this and just make it a series till I hit that Dialga. Till then, peace out.